Hello, this is an update in a series of videos I've been making about growing potatoes in shopping bags. This potato is a potato called Winston. It's sitting in a 10 inch pot that I've lined with two shopping bags. Okay, we're going to attempt to lift this potato out without disturbing the roots and if there are potatoes on it and we decide to harvest it, we will. If there are no potatoes on it, we can put it back in the pot. Or, if we decide we only want to take one or two potatoes from the plant and put it back in the pot to grow on, we can do that as well. Now we know it will grow on because the foliage is still quite fresh, it's still quite green. So this potato isn't dying yet, it's still growing. So there might be an opportunity to return it, take some potatoes from it, then return it to the pot to grow on. And so that the potatoes that are left on the plant will get even bigger than they are now. So I'll just lift out this out of the barrow. I'll grip this pot between my feet and I'll just pull up on the shopping bags to, to, to extricate it from the pot. There we go. That's Winston. We'll take this ticket out just to give ourselves some room. Now I've stood it in this um, tray in the hope that I can actually turn it round and let you see all sides of this potato uh, plant, the root ball, when I reveal it. So we simply take the plastic bags and gently take them down the root ball and hopefully the root ball will stay intact. Right, that's the root ball completely exposed. Let's see. I'll just pop around your side and see what you're seeing. Okay, there's no potatoes on that side, and if we turn it round through 360, I hope you can see this. As I say, I, I'm, I'm on the wrong side of the camera, so I'm not sure if you can, but there are actually no potatoes showing on this plant. So had we lifted this potato today, had we emptied this pot out today, chances are we would have got a very small yield. So we'll put this one back in its pot, and we'll let it grow on for another few weeks. Now I have one more potato in cultivation using this method um, and we'll have a look at that now. And hopefully this helicopter will have got past that be the time we get it. So we'll just put this one back in the pot. How's that? No root disturbance whatsoever. If we'd emptied that guy out, it would have been finished now, and would have possibly got nothing. So let's go and get the other potato. This is a potato called Maris Bad. And as you can see from the tops, it's still growing well. Lots of green leaf on there, no yellowing. Um, so we'll have a look in this pot and see if Maris Bad wants to give us any potatoes uh, this evening. I'll lift it out just the same way I did with Winston between my feet. And what is worth noting, although Winston didn't show us any potatoes, that's not to say there wasn't any potatoes on the plant, what I've found with growing in pots is the majority of the potatoes tend to be in the middle of the soil ball, and you only get them on the edges. 
when there's no room in the middle. Okay, right, let's see if we've got anything on Maris Barn. I'll just pop round your side. Oh yes, let me have a look, how are you getting those two? One there, one there, how are you getting them? So with two potatoes, shown on Maris Barn, if I pop it on this side, and we'll have a big potato showing round here. I'll show you this potato in a minute, but what I'll do is, because I don't need many potatoes indoors, this is a, a, an accompaniment for a meal for one, um, I'll only take the potatoes I can see, and I'll pop this plant back in the pot to grow on. Okay, so we'll take this one first. There she is. We'll take this one. And we'll try not to break it out, Paul. And there's two clean new potatoes, Maris Bard. I'll just put those in this pot here because I can see that Molly's got her eye on them. Um, and there aren't that many, so I'd like to retain them. Now then, I don't know if you can see these, um, but I'll just clear some soil. There's another potato further in the root ball. I'm going to leave that one. I think if I took that one, if I just take a bit of soil away, if I, if I took that one, I think I'll be in danger of losing the soil uh, the root ball. So we'll leave that one for the time being. We'll come round this side. And we'll turn this one so you can see this one. There you go. Hey. Okay. So we'll just take this one as well. Oh, and that's a much bigger specimen. Okay. So, in fact, I've changed my mind. I'm going to have that one that I can see. Okay, there's three to start with. push our look, we'll try and take this one without destroying the root ball. Okay. Yeah it's coming. Oh excellent. Oh and another. Oh they're on the edge so hopefully this is that another and another. Wow I'm glad I moved that one right let's have a look at these now. Okay, this is what Maris Bard's delivered, and we haven't actually lifted the potato plant. The potato plant is still growing, still producing potatoes, and those potatoes are getting bigger. We'll pop this guy back in the pot, take these indoors, give them a wash, and let you have a look at them. Maris bird back in the pot. Okay, I've had Maris bird indoors, and I'm going to weigh them now and just see what we've got. And remember that potato is back in the pot producing more potatoes and probably bigger potatoes. Nothing wrong with that. You can't have that molly. Right, what have we got? 
that looks like three quarters of a pound of potatoes and the plant's still growing. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing off.